They said it was supposed to be pouring rain today, but fortunately it's not. So let's try some stuff. Still trying to debate what kind of shots I want to try to practice with before I go out further. Still reading all the CES 2018 stuff, and funny enough, speaking of weather, it seems like the weather's not in their favor. It seems here, like first, it says passenger drone thwarted by light drizzle. So there was this thing called the Surefly drone, and I guess they wanted to fly, but it says literally it was just drizzling a little bit, and I guess they thought it was too dangerous as a result to fly this drone. That's not too good, is it? If people are going to fly things like autonomous taxis or whatever, just a little drizzle of rain is a hazard. And then this one, it says, Google shuts down a CES booth because it's not waterproof. So it was actually raining there to my understanding. And this is actually the first year, I believe, Google has his presence there. And because of the rain, again, they shut down their booth. I guess no one's prepared for the rain down there, huh? I was hoping to find more things like cameras just to see what companies are going to offer in 2018 but it seems like uh, tech wise it's mostly about things like cars and robots just like watching this Sophia one it's like trying to do like an interview and all that I read two other things that kind of caught my attention today. One of them was a teacher getting arrested by a police officer or something like that, just for, I guess, speaking her mind. And the other one was about the GoPro. They're basically explaining about their financial situation. They talked about them exiting the drone market. And it was kind of interesting because the CEO here apparently says something along the lines of, people want their company to make cameras, not drones, as another reason for them to leave the business. Well, it was kind of interesting. I saw this little interview, you can see it here. Let me ask you, Nick, because a big part of this release is significant layoffs at this company, because you guys came in, you had about 1,200 employees, now you're gonna have fewer than 1,000. Um, you know, when we spoke in April, uh, I asked you at that point, was that the end of the layoffs? And you said, listen, that is, you expect the end of the layoffs, but here we are, another big round. Um, what happened there, Nick? Well, as you noted uh, at the beginning of the interview, we uh, shuttered our drone business. Um, Karma was successful in its category. It was the number two selling drone and $1,000 and up. But as we looked forward, uh, when we considered uh, the regulatory environment for drones, when we considered the amount <coughs> of investment in the category relative to the profit margins that are possible in that category, we determined that it just wasn't going to continue to be a sound business investment for us. Uh, the majority of our customers, um, more than four million a year uh, of our customers are looking for us to make great cameras with a great app experience and they're subscribing to our subscription program. That's what they want from us, not a drone. And so we're investing accordingly and that resulted in some job cuts. That made me wonder, is that true where people overall don't really want GoPro to make things like drones? I would imagine for most people, they want the competition in general. And in terms of name brand recognition, I know even for me, when I first bought the drone, GoPro was actually funny enough, I, there was a bigger name to me in my mind than a DJI, for example, just in terms of brand awareness. So I would imagine if they actually made a really good drone product, they would be able to capture a huge market share. But I guess it's just more about things like the labor costs and stuff like that and actually making the drones. And what the heck is that all the way up there? I'm interested in flying the drone to see what that is. I think I'm gonna do that. It looks like some kind of, I don't know what it is, like a bucket or something? Oh my, look what happened. I just took the filters off and it looks normal now, but... Oh, <laughs> it completely fell out. Uh, is this fixable? It doesn't look like anything's damaged or anything. It just kind of came out when I took the filters out. This is from the original one, the original set that they, that couldn't actually fit in the Mavic, so you have to put it on afterwards. Hmm, wonder if I should tell them about this and you get like a replacement or not, or if it's easy to put back in. Okay, I guess I'll send them a support tip just to see if that thing is, like, yeah, <laughs> if the thing is goners. They've always given me good customer service so far, so let's see what they say here. It's actually been like over a year already too, since I've had it. And for whatever that was, it was just, it looked like it was some garbage, like cans of pop and stuff like that. What do people do? They go there at nighttime or something? And the last thing that caught my mind today, it was actually this trending video on YouTube. I was watching this and apparently it has something to do with, it was some kind of meeting, I guess, with teachers and people, I guess, on the top. They wanted to give themselves a raise because they perform their duty as stated. So apparently the teachers themselves or people under them got really upset about that because it's unfair. Why should people on the top, for example, get all that raise and not people who equally did a good job? 
And apparently from watching this video, she made her opinion that she was unhappy about it. It seemed it was really, um, how do you say, formal or professional, whatever you want to say. Like it, there wasn't anything violent. But then she was asked to leave. And then this police officer, for whatever reason, just started to arrest her and everything. And it was kind of crazy when I was thinking about this. I don't understand the terminology, but then he was saying like he might arrest more people and then the lady apparently said something like, what for? He said like public intimidation? What does that mean in a meeting like this? Public intimidation. The main thing that got me thinking though, because she kind of made a point, I guess, in her speech saying a lot of people oftentimes, like I guess there, they're afraid to bring out their opinions and voice just because they will probably get retaliated against. And I think that's an important point overall. It doesn't matter what kind of field or subject matter. It's always a worry when stuff like that happens where when people put out their opinions, then all of a sudden the giant or someone of power will try to silence the person by all means necessary. I personally think topics like those are often important because if you keep silencing everyone like that all the time just for something like doesn't seem like there was anything wrong with it, I mean, what's next? Like I said before, I think this is the best mode to detect motion. How in this one it makes all the backgrounds that disappear too once it kind of I guess finds the biggest movement. Okay, time to try the support and stuff and see what happens. Alright, see you guys later.